Well, this is uh, another edition of the new Fortress decoder, except uh, today uh, I have found myself a strong bolt. Um, door furniture has been taken off, and uh, when I look inside, I can see a five gauge, uh, five lever curtain to water's lock uh, in grey. And uh, when I popped my scope inside here, I could see that it was uh, clearly um, a strong bolt. Uh, well, in fact, it's the Yale version, it's, uh, it's in grey, but set shares the same uh, lever pack as the strong bolt. Um, and what I need to do is change the reader tip on this tool because the uh, levers read in a slightly different way. There's uh, eight lever heights inside here and uh, the stop, I believe, on the curtain um, stops before the uh, one on the fortress, which means that uh, the normal reader tip won't actually be able to read lever heights uh, three, two, or one. So when you put this tip on, it's slightly canted over, which allows it to reach around and uh, be able to read the uh, really high lever heights. Now, uh, what this does mean is that uh, you invariably have to take the door furniture off to be able to get that uh, reader tip into the keyhole. But once that door furniture is off and you angle it and poke it in, let me just do that. Just get that round that corner. Get it into there. There we are, that's inside the lock now. Um, then the rest of the process for reading the uh, uh, heights on this lock is the same as it was um, for, the, uh, uh, for the fortress. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the tool nice and level and uh, square onto the lock. Uh, I'm gonna pull it all the way out to the um, lever nearest the cap and I'm going to pop the uh, reader tip round. And this is the remnants of my um, fortress scale on there. Uh, but obviously the, because the difference in the reader tip, then the heights are gonna be different on the, on the yell and the strong bolt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reference the chart that came with uh, the kit. Um, and uh, I'm going to use that to work out what the lever heights are. Um, here we go. This is the uh, strong bolt yell on the left. And I can see the gradations on there. And what I'm going to do is compare them uh, to actually get the heights. So the first, uh, the first lever on here is stopping what I would call uh, between C and D, and uh, between C and D is a lever height of seven. Let's push that in. And now that's rotated round to roughly an F, which is, uh, equates to about a five. So seven, Five, maybe even four. That's probably a four actually. Uh, seven, four, it's going one more click. Okay, well that's allowed that to go around quite some way there. In fact, that's gone all the way around to just beyond an H, uh, which is a one. Uh, and that reader tip obviously is able to read that. Um, let's push it all the way to the back. There we go, that's reading the same. So lever three and five are, are the same because of the ABA pattern. Let's pull it out one. Okay, so that's uh, moved back one gradation, which is going to be a two. So there's a one, two, one at the back there, a seven. So we've got either a seven, five or a seven, four, one, two, one in there. So I'm gonna make up a reader, uh, make up, um, uh, build a makeup key. And then what we'll do is we'll, we'll see whether uh, I've actually been able to decode that. Uh, correctly. So, uh, yep, bear with, I'm just going to make up the key. Right, so I've uh, built the uh, makeup key. Um, I've built it with a 74121. Um, I took, went back and took the readings again, actually, and it was quite clearly a four. Uh, there was no ambiguity on that, so it was, certainly wasn't a five. So, uh, so here we've got the uh, key. So, uh, when I put it in and turned it, you can hear that that's uh, the correct bitting for that. Uh, and now the door is open. So, uh, so yeah, the first uh, 
the first live test for the um, decoder using the uh, strong bolt and Yale tip has uh, been very successful and uh, it's done exactly um, what it should do. The uh, only thing that was uh, ever so slightly tricky and obviously required the door furniture uh, to be removed was the, uh, the insertion of that tip. But obviously practice is gonna make perfect and uh, I'm sure that will become easier over time. So there's another one in the back and uh, yep, yeah, uh, we'll uh, take this out. Uh, we'll get a replacement in there and uh, we'll move on to the next job.